How's everybody doing? I haven't made a video in a long time. All that stuff with eBay, with uh, YouTube and all that, that just kind of pissed me off. And I just wasn't going to keep working to help them make money in ads. I didn't ask for, I don't ask for any. Not. Anyways, and besides I got myself on so many platforms, God, I got uploaded 50 times. But anyways, I was so happy yesterday after I chased the UPS guy down. I got my Kimber 9mm 1911 back. I had bought it only a week ago. So, I mean, they got the turnaround pretty darn good. And he wouldn't hold a magazine. The magazine would just fall out at all. There was something wrong with the, uh, the release. And I wasn't going to screw with a brand new gun. So, I said, called him up, sent him, talked to the guy. He goes, how long have you had it? Real nice guy on the phone. I've never had as nice customer service as I had from Kimber in my life. And that's the first Kimber I ever had. And I told the guy, he goes, oh, about 15 minutes. I goes, I'm lucky enough to have a range behind my house, which I'm in the barn shooting because it's been raining today. And I finished my paperwork and I just, I wanted to see how it would work on my suppressor. This is a, a Griffin Revolution 45 caliber can. It works great on my 45 uh, 1911, but I you know, they come with a piston for 9mm, right? Well, then I had to, I just had to have a 9mm to work with it. And I love 1911s. I just do, but finding one threaded was not easy. Sad part is I paid more for this than I did the uh, 45. Anyways, we're just going to try it out here and play. We've got some 147 grain hand loads in here. And uh, they're, uh, I actually bought some extreme bullets and loaded them up. Because my lead stuff... I always size it a thousandth or two thousandth bigger, and it's always worked great. And that way, I don't need leading, nice tight fit in the barrel. And this is one of the probably the third different thing I ever cast for is nine. And I had all kinds of problems uh, with leading and stuff in my regular Ruger's uh, SR nines and stuff. I mean, it, I wasn't getting accuracy, so I got the bolt a little bit bigger. I read that. Oh, okay. This gun will not let that fat bullet chamber. Now, I'm going to play with it a little bit, of course, but I bought a thousand of these because I'm buying my lead. In fact, I'm buying the wheel weights on eBay because there ain't no way around me has got any. No matter what mix I do, I find if I put one or two ingots of wheel weights in there to get the arsenic and stuff, it just it just works better. And I can't tell you exactly why because I'm using linotype and regular lead and I even got some super hard, but I get a much better fill with just a little bit of wheel weight. So I'm every month I try to buy a little bit off eBay and stockpile it so I'll have it. I don't use a lot of it in a percentage. I mean, I might do a 20-pound pot and only put three pounds of it in there. But anyways, with that, my leads cost me. Basically, I can make this bullet for about four cents. I can buy it for six. I think I screw with it for two more cents. And the truth is, I don't shoot that much 9mm. I love shooting 45s, but I had to get this one working. So here we go. Find out. I'm just shooting out there at the Ahmed. Oh, what is he? Oh, I don't know. He's, well, that's 50 yards, so he's probably about 35 yards from me, okay? Let's see if I can hit anything. Hey, that magazine went through just flawlessly. I love it. And they don't give away those Kimber mags either. To buy another on eBay. One thing you have to notice when you're shooting a suppressor on a handgun, you gotta tighten that bag boy just a little bit between each mag. And do that with the rifles. See if I can hit him again. Huh? Missed. The sight barely comes over the top of the suppressor. Hey, it's working fine. Magazines. <laughs> when I first bought it, you put the mag up in there, right? And it snug so it didn't fall out until you racked around. And the magazine fell on the ground. Like, what the hell? I told the guy, was, yeah, it's a really accurate single shot. Yeah. 
Nice heavy mag. Okay, 31 bucks per mag. See if that's loosened up any. Yep, you see, I mean, that just takes a little tweak, but they, the silencer shop gives you some of these. You need them. Okay, putting your little patty on that thing, I wouldn't, I don't know, I wouldn't want to grab it tight enough to turn it. It's warm. Now, I put four mags through. I put two through it. It works so good. I was like, oh, I'm going to do a video. I haven't done a video in forever. And somebody say, and I have, and I've been busy with a garden, and, uh, well, I was dealing with some health issues. I don't know if you can tell on the camera or not, but I've lost over 70 pounds. And uh, so I'm working on getting healthier, which is great. I can do things again. Building a greenhouse. Guy's supposed to be coming out at the end of the month to redo my range. We're going we're gonna to dig down four feet in front of the range. Look kind of like a dock well. Because my son, for my birthday in February, bought me some beautiful targets. I've got a, a dueling tree. Never had one. It's like that high, and it's made out of AR-500 because you know they like to shoot rifles. So you can hit it with anything you want to. And uh, I've got a whole bunch of targets he bought me. And got me a couple of new guns. Transferred them over to me and stuff. 45 Colt. I love 45 Colt. One's actually a replica of a real Colt. The ones you only want to load five rounds into, not six. Oh, that thing shoots sweet. I love that gun. Um, well, I got spoiled on my last birthday, but... Anyway, so here we are. I'm still kicking. I'm just trying to get better. Every I'm living on, what? Well, less than 10 ounces of food a day. It's, it's working, I guess. So, anyway, there we are. This Kimber, I had told some people on Facebook that... I mean, I, I wasn't mad at it. I told the man, because he was all apologetic, I told him, you know, every company has problems. And the real measure of a company is not whether they have a problem or not. It's how they take care of the problem. And I got to tell you, I got this. He told me it'd be three weeks. I got it back in a week. And I told him, I hopefully it was just something simple. Nice gun. I just love, I love the way these feel in my hands. I know they have a 10 millimeter 1911 out there, but I mean I have the dies and stuff because I help load for a friend. But never done much with 10. I got nothing against it. I just never got. I don't have a gun that shoots it. I like this gun. Can't wait till I can play with the dueling tree of this. This would be a ball. You know, I shoot it more without without the suppressor than I do with it. I mean, it's quiet without, but the steel makes you hear the steel makes a lot of noise, more noise than a gun does. And I run this Griffin in the full configuration. You can actually adjust. And I did it. Put it in what they call the K configuration, which is a little bit shorter, but you take out three baffles. Well, what the hell's the point of buying a suppressor and taking baffles? <laughs> I don't know, I guess. Found a new range I'm going to go to. I won't take any video there because I just look stupid. But um, it's a state park. It's about 25 miles from me. It's, it's, it's wonderful. Can't shoot steel there. And they only let you load six rounds in your, in, in your mag at a time, which is not a big deal. And they, well, I forget what he said. Did he say three or six seconds between shots? Well, that won't be a big deal for me. But my son-in-law didn't want to go there. Oh, I can't. I don't. He likes to rapid fire, which is another reason I want to put that higher range. But I think I'm going to take my two uh, M1 carbines out there and see if I can hit anything at 100 yards. Probably not. Give the other guys something to laugh at, right? Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that. All I can tell you is my only Kimber, and I like it. Yeah, it had a little problem. It's just the mag wouldn't stay in it. I, I think there was a spring. Yeah, I can tell you, because you see that? That wouldn't spring up before at all. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Right there, right in front of my thumb. Which, so it was just, it had it. They said in their paperwork they'd replaced a part and the magazine release. So everything made can be screwed up. But the gun was accurate the first time I shot it. I ended up taking it apart and putting what they call the idiot scratch on it. I never can seem to get a 1911 back together without putting that little tiny scratch on them. But it don't matter to me. I'm not going to sell them. Everybody, everybody does that with their gun. Like, I'll see guns on, there's a club I'm a member of uh, here in Michigan. Uh, Michigan Gun Owners, okay? 
And there'll be guy, the guys list guns on occasionally. Every once in a while, there'll be, oh, some gun never fired. Like, how do you buy a gun and not fire it? I mean, when I buy a gun, I'm so hot to go out and shoot it, I can't tell you. You know, it's, I don't know. Hmm. Each their own, I guess. I guess I babble enough. Talk to you later.